So we are headed to the field to shell corn. Uh, this is going to be our first farm that we shell this year. Just so happens to be the farm that we grazed cattle on this winter. We grazed 100, over 100 head on this track. Uh, had rye cover crop. We'll leave some links to those videos. This particular track used to be about 33 acres and it has shrunk down to about 17 including the woods. There, I think there's about 15 or so tillable here, so we're not talking a lot of acres. The reason it shrank is because of that new highway over there. It took about 65 acres from us. We are using a uh, 9770 combine with an eight row corn head, 608C head. The 9770 is a 2011 model. We've got Precision 2020 yield sense that we're going to recalibrate today. Okay, we're going to get our settings and everything set up. Uh, we always change this as we go, but this is just kind of our baseline. So I'm going to run my clearance, my rotor clearance on 24. Uh, I'm going to set my fan on 1200. The uh, top screen's 14, the bottom screen's 28. And we're just going to use that as a rough starting place and adjust accordingly. I'm most certain this corn is going to be very dry, so you know, depending on how it works or how it shells, we will adjust from there. So we're on a pretty good slope. This is a really rough farm. It's historically our worst farm. We really didn't know where that highway was going, so we really didn't take the best care of it. You know, if this farm, if this farm makes 160 bushel corn, typically we're pretty happy with that. Granted, you know, we're going to have to build that back up over time, but that's really why we ran the cattle out here, why we fed hay out here use you know different means of trying to build the ground the combine has made a pass through here obviously it's shelled eight rows and you can still see a lot of the rye that's left over from last year and then we'll come inside the row here still a lot of trash on the ground we planted 31,000 population here. The stand was not perfect by any means. The corn is kind of variable. Most of it looks pretty good. Some of it does not, but that is to be expected. It's a little bit too dry, to be honest. We're a little bit late. Um, should have been shelling this probably a week ago, but we're here now and getting it knocked off. I'm either going to bring some cattle over here to graze these fresh stalks for a while, maybe two weeks to a month, let them get some good out of the fresh fodder and what corn we didn't get in the bin. If I don't do that, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to drill a uh, cover crop into these stalks and then leave the cattle off for, I guess, until we get a rain, you know, so the cover crop comes up and gets established. But we're extremely dry. We haven't had a good measurable amount of rain for at least a month. I told everyone I would show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. So, you know, I said that we planted 31,000 population out here. There's a pretty big skip from there to there. And then there's some skips in here. Like I said, it's not perfect and it never will be. You know, it's not the end of the world. And I think what we're doing for the ground is kind of offsetting any yield loss we may have. Well, that's the idea, anyway. I don't know if you can hear me, but where he just crossed in those rougher areas are the places that we fed hay. Okay, this is a good spot. So the corn is pretty much, I would say, non-existent here. I mean, a few, a few plants did come up, but for the most part, it's not there. And what is there? Got a dinky little ear on it. But you can see, though, all of the leftover organic matter that's in the ground. That's all old rotten hay, and it's built up quite a bit. This was a pretty washed out, eroded ditch here, and I believe this is where my sprayer tire ran. You can see it started to erode again. Look at all of this. This is kind of where the water ran, and you can see that the hay held everything together. So we're going to continue doing this, continue feeding hay in these low areas. I don't know if I'll 
continue to do it in the exact same spot. I may go up the hill a little ways one way or the other, but you know, next year at this time in this area, if I don't add any more hay to it, it should break down and should add a lot of value to the next crop. And if the beans don't come up here next year, then the next year, the corn crop that follows those should be really good right here. We had 15 inches of rain probably over the course of 45 days this spring, not long after we planted this corn. In our video where we were streaming nitrogen on, that was pretty much the last field work opportunity we had, and then we sat still for a long time. But to have had that much rain washed down through here and to have pretty much, I would say, zero to maybe 5% erosion is incredible. I mean, it really is. You know, I've seen this farm wash away time and time and time again. And just the improvement in one year, one year is all it took. We didn't move any dirt around. We didn't shuffle anything. We didn't run a disc in here to try to smooth any of this out. We literally just fed hay in the areas where the water ran. And that is it. We're gonna hop up here in the combine and check out the yield monitor. I'm in here with uh, Connor, also known as Ern. How's it doing? Uh, pretty good up on the hill. We fall down the hill. Like Here's the yield monitor and the moisture. Some of these hills are pretty poor. It's to be expected on this place. I think the average is sitting at 160. Let's see, the field average. 166 right now. This is a pretty level, pretty good spot in the field, and I'll show you the monitor real quick. We did calibrate it yesterday. It's probably not perfect. We're going to check this with scale tickets, not scale tickets, but scale waste before we go to the grain bin. to cross one of these places where we fed hay. It's still pretty aggressive as far as the topography goes, but the washing and the erosion in these areas is pretty well non-existent compared to the way it used to be as far as, you know, if you hadn't have done anything. Okay, he got this field done. What are you showing it made? Uh, 168. 168 average yield. We're going to compare that to what the scales on the grain cart say. And the average moisture was, says it was 14, but that's a little too high. I think it's more like 13. So we're going to hop out. I'm going to go see what the cart guys got written down. Compare that to what the combine says, and we should have an actual yield here. What kind of weight have you got? 175, so that's about five bushels better than the uh, yield monitor red. Okay, good deal. This is Sam. Y'all remember him? If you like what you saw here today, give this video a like, subscribe to our channel, and you can follow along with some of these other little projects we're doing just to kind of see what will and won't work. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed watching. I really appreciate you stopping by and checking us out. So we'll look forward to seeing you next time, and have a good one.